Hey guys, I just want to share something with you that I that I learned today. I was listening to the Adam and Dr. Drew show. They're uh, they're most famous for their uh, their former radio show called Love Line. Adam Carolla is a comedian, and I really I really have a lot of respect for him. I like his sense of humor, and I like um, he came from a very rough upbringing. Didn't really make it big until he was in his 30s, and he attributes that to grit. So he talks about grit quite a bit. And then uh, Dr. Drew, he's the uh, he's the famous uh, Hollywood doctor. And together they have a podcast, and it's I think it's great uh, because they, they there's a lot of humor in there, but they talk about real world stuff. And one of the things they were talking about today was um, the three attributes that will make you successful, <clears throat> and that is drive, um, experience, street smarts. They kind of go hand in hand, and then a formal education. And if you could only choose one of those three, which one would it be? And drive is the most important attribute that you should have. People that are driven um, generally are more successful. Even if you don't have a formal education or if you don't have experience, uh, if you are a driven person, chances are somebody who's in charge, who has work to give, is going to give it to that person who has drive because they know they're going to get the job done. And a lot of people don't have drive. Um, but if you have a combination of drive and formal education, you will make it e extremely far in life. If you have a combination of drive and experience, you will make it uh, far as well. But if you could only choose one of the three, um, drive is what you, what you should strive for. There are plenty of people out there who have a formal education, who have knowledge, but they have no drive. They live in their mom and dad's basement, and it's like a 500 horsepower engine in a car that's sitting on blocks. If you don't have drive, if you can't move that vehicle, you're not going to get anywhere. Uh, they had a couple guests on the show that were talking about how um, because they had drive, they were given opportunities uh, that they were usually unqualified for. But people that have drive uh, will get things done, so opportunity presents themselves to those types of people. So how do you get drive? Um, I know drive for me I've always been driven. I was always driven to get out of the situation that I was in growing up. And in the Army, it's, it's played very well for me. I guess I've always been passionate about the military. And I am not the most intelligent. I have never been the most experienced. Uh, but I always worked hard. I always worked hard. And in the areas that I was good at, I excelled and made myself stand out. I always took the tough jobs. I volunteered for things. And later in life, I started, well, I started gaining more experience, and then I started pursuing my formal education, and it's really paid off dividends, uh, because the combination of those three have opened up opportunities for me within the Army. Um, and it, it's enabled me to excel as far as my career. Um, but how do, you, how do you get drive? And I think that's something you've got to find passion in your life. If you're passionate about something, um, you will become more driven. And there are times in my life where I have like lost my drive a little bit. If I'm not passionate about a specific job, um, it's, it's been, it's difficult. I think everybody struggles with that. But if you have absolutely no drive in your life, if you're not driven to do something, if you're not driven to get up in the morning and perform your job, uh, then you may need to reflect on what it is that you're doing and find that passion in your life. And I'm uh, I'm in the, the twilight years of my Army career, so I'm trying to look at different options to figure out, okay, what's when this is over with, which, you know, I love the Army, I'm passionate about the Army, but it's coming to an end soon. I've got to find something else that I'm going to go do. And I've stayed in the Army all these years because, well, one, I love it, but two, I didn't really know what I, else I wanted to be when I grew up. So um, how do I maintain the level of drive and passion that I have in the Army and translate that to something in the civilian world that's going to be different? Um, and I just challenge you that if you're struggling, if you're, if you are the type of person that is having, that is struggling uh, to find your way in life, just know that there are three things that are important: drive, experience and intelligence, and formal education. But the most important thing that you can do, if you're struggling, is find what drives you. What's going to move you forward? What's going to be the one thing that gets you up in the morning? Because if you have drive, you will. And you find your passion, you will go and get your formal education. You will become more experienced in that area because you will pursue that area. Um, so, and if you're not passionate about what you do now, uh, you need to reach out and try to figure out what that is and try to dabble in different things. You got to continue to fail until you find what it is that you uh, 
uh, that, that you enjoy doing. And throughout my life, um, I dabble in different things. I've always got new hobbies. I've got, uh, you know, always little side business ventures. And I'll play around with things. And if it's not working out or I don't like it, I move on to the next thing. But I keep trying. It's failing forward. C continue to fail until you find the thing that, that drives you and motivates you and, and makes you just want to get up in the morning and, and attack life. So, well, I've been rambling for a couple minutes now. Hopefully.